Is, are we about to get into the true part of this game? Has the game truly begun now? Yo, I got a hat. Let's go. Oh, actually, I look pretty epic in general. Look at me. Look at me, y'all. Wait, what? I'm looking pretty damn epic right now. Are you seeing all these maneuvers I can do? I'm crazy. I'm crazy. All right, let's just go. Let's just go. Holy crap, this music, though. Uh, 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 let's go. Uh, uh, let's go. The music go, let the music flow, let's go. Uh. Hell yeah, dude. Sweet 16? I got an achievement called Sweet 16. I don't really know, but uh, I'm looking pretty slick right now. I'm enjoying it. Oh, 16-bit mode. I see. The game does look more crispy now that you've mentioned it. I get it. The game has more graphics all of a sudden. That's pretty cool. I didn't know, I didn't realize the game actually switched graphics up in the middle of the game. That's why it looks so cool, because the graphics actually changed. My brain didn't really register that the graphics changed. That's pretty sick. And also, Ali, I didn't really gloss over this, but GG on beating that boss in the DLC finally question about the DLC uh, for Dark Souls 3. Did you fight the uh, the dragon? My dear, or whatever his name is? Because that is the hardest boss, in my opinion. But anyway, let's continue the game. What happened? I, I warped or something, and everything looks different now. Hello? Okay, that is a really cool hat. <laughs> Seriously, wow. Any idea what happened, though? Oh, uh, sorry. I just can't get over the hat. Need anything? Oh, wow. We're just going to talk about my hat. That's cool. Also, this song changed, too. Or at least it became more something. I'm digging it, though. All right. Let's talk about this area. Welcome to the Cloud Ruins, remnants of a civilization of giants that used to live in the sky. This place is beautiful, but the structures feel precarious. Yeah, bad place if you're afraid of heights. How high am I? You mean in my opinion? What? Oh, geographically. Well, you entered the Tower of Time at the top of the mountain and then exited through the top of the tower. So I'd say fairly high. Enjoy the sights. Sure. What's the deal with everything looking so different? You know, I was wondering how you were going to deal with the implications of time travel. It seems ignorance really is bliss. Pardon? That moment in the Tower of Time. Yeah? It sent you to the future. Neat. Yes, precisely. Neat. <laughs> Any new stories? Of course, here's one for you. There was once a starving little boy who never missed a chance to help his fellow villagers. One day, after helping an old man carry a heavy bundle of wheat, he was offered a loaf of bread. Eat your fill, my boy. It is well deserved, he began. But if you feel like helping even more, there are... E two gnomes hiding in the forest who are even hungrier than you are. Now that boy was an empathetic one, his mind was made up instantly. After a short hike, he found the gnomes and split the bread between the two of them, without even saving a bite for himself. Thank you, kind little boy. The gnomes be named be beamed? Be aimed? They be aimed? Beamed. It seems you have lifted our curse. Indeed. To punish them for their greed, a spirit had put them under a rather annoying spell. They were exiled to the forest, carrying a magic little mill capable of producing anything its bearer desired. But the little mill's magic would only be activated once the games... The games? Jesus. Once the gnomes were fed by a stranger acting out of selfless generosity. To starve while carrying a relic promising abundance, a cruel fate indeed. Now, you can imagine the little boy's surprise when he was given the magic item. Name something you want while turning the crank to the right, and the little mill will produce an endless stream of it, the gnomes explained. Turn it to the left, and it will stop. After creating a huge pile of food for the two gnomes, the young boy went back to his village to help the populace with, its, with his newfound powers. But as he grew in popularity, his older sister grew in jealousy. One night, she couldn't take it anymore and stole the little mill from her brother's bedside table, along with two leftover pies from that afternoon's feast. 
Adding insult to injury, she left on the family's fishing boat to reach new lands, hoping to have her turn in the role of the popular purveyor. Once out at sea, she decided to try one of the pies, which to her taste were, were lacking a little something. It was time to try out that little mill's magic, she reckoned. Give me salt, she said, turning the crank to the right. And the salt she got, heaps and heaps of it. Now, older sister had never bothered paying attention to how the mill could be stopped. Stop, little mill, stop, she shouted, first annoyed, then worried, and finally panicked. Salt soon overflowed the boat itself, sinking it under the weight. It is said that the sunken little mill is still operational to this day, and is the reason why seawater is salty. The end. That was an interesting, but it... That was interesting, but it feels more like a kid's story explaining things about the world we know the actual reason for. Tough crowd, eh? Why don't you tell me a story and I'll judge it. So, you're looking for additional takeaways? How about this? Seeing how Big Sister's anger led her to demise, led to her demise, irritated people were henceforth referred to as salty. <laughs> oh, I got another one. Seeing how Big Sister's shortcomings as a little mill operator led to her demise, unqualified people were henceforth referred to as not being worth their salt. Hey, this is fun. You should go. I'll keep on coming up with morals to do with salt. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Everyone knows the sea salty because dinosaurs peed in it. Duh. I don't know about that frog, but that's pretty funny. Oh boy, this game. I enjoy it. <laughs> okay, I came from that way, so we're dropping down here, I guess. Yes, indeed. No need to add insult to injury. Oh my god, Berserker. Really? Really? Oh, there's spikes there. That would probably be a good thing to pay attention to. Wee. Wee. Oh, hello. Wee, Nintendo, wee. Are you an enemy? Oh, shit. There was a ghost coming for me, y'all. I want the things. Ah. What's safer? You go down here? I shouldn't even say what's safer. What's the way to go? Do I go down here? Oh, shit. Well, you know what? I'm thinking I might need to go to the other side first. Let's check. Ah. Wee. Okay, let's see what's up here first, I guess. This seems like a place where I'm not going back up if I go. There's also a checkpoint here. Fuck, okay. There's a checkpoint, so we can at least check. Dude, I was trying to... Oh my god. I was trying to chop. I was trying to chop. I'm starting to think you just want to find out when these death quotes will start looping. I haven't died that many times, game. Don't be talking shit yet. Dude! Dude! Did! Someone's watching. Yeah, see, you already say the same shit. We've already heard the input lag joke. Your joke's not fresh anymore, sir. Cool. I'm really glad I chopped and didn't hit anything. Can we please... Can we please? I hate that these count as deaths. It's so stupid. And that's all I wanted. See how hard was that? How hard was that? How much longer do you think I'll be playing for? Probably another 40 minutes or so. 45 minutes. At least. If you're wondering how longer, how much longer you're going to miss, you know, what you're going to miss, Berserker. Ow. Ow. Shit. I can't believe I just stood there and yeah. This feels like not the way to go. So I'm probably going to get a gem out of this. You're going to go, Morrow? Trying to get more sleep tonight? 
that is probably a good idea. You have a good sleep. Thank you for hanging out for as long as you have. And we'll talk to you tomorrow. You got to go too, DJ? All right. You have a good night as well. Woo! Made it. Didn't even get hit by the spikes on the way up. Pretty proud. Dude, stop taking all my money. I want my money. I think you finally got paid enough, which is good. You're going to go... You're going to stay a bit longer, Berserker? All right. Well, I appreciate you staying up a little bit extra just because you're enjoying the stream, I'm assuming. I want to get across here. Can I float across? Probably, but I want to be careful. So let's do smart. Let's do smart. Let's do smart! All right, we're in there. Wait, really? I thought for sure I was going the wrong way. So, cool hat? Oh, you like that. Is it? It is. Is it why you chose to wear one as well? Oh, he's wearing the hat also. That just occurred to me. That's hilarious. What? Well, you have the same hat. No, I got it first. Oh, is that what you're going to tell yourself? Fine. I did have the hat first and you were all over it. Right, yeah, that'll happen, sure. It's true though. Look, you can put your head in the sand all you want in an attempt to preserve your ego, but clearly it's not going to work on the person that was there when it all happened. This fucking guy. I like this guy a lot. He's funny. Alright, well, uh... Am I going over here? Oh, shit, you can walk on the clouds. Yo, let's go. Oh my god, there's an actual dragon after me. Run for your life, there's a dragon! Oh. Oh. Oh, it's instant death. Okay, noted. No Ted. No fucking up jumps then. Here we go. Run for your life, this dragon's gonna murder you. Run for your life, this dragon's gonna murder you. He's gonna murder your ass. Run for your life, the dragon's gonna murder you. Holy shit, he gonna murder you. We did it. All right, good shit. Remember what Stephen King said, find a way to slay the dragon. You know what, a dragon, there's no way to slay it. You run for your life. That's how you slay that one. That was a run for your life situation. And the ghost. Oh, God. Fuck. I saw it from below and forgot. Damn it. It's fine. Take my money, little one. Take it. See if I give bucks. I give zero of them. Oh, that just goes up. Okay, so you just have to be quick about it. I see. Fucking... Grr, I missed it twice. Fuck off. Wow. He's taken 300 of my shards so far. Which is actually less than I would have thought, but I did die a bunch on a level where I didn't really have the opportunity to uh, get any money back. Oh, God. Where? Uh. Okay. Let's just be smarter about it. Woo! 
Okay. We in there. Woo! Okay. That was that was some good ass situations right there. You already know. Huh. We oh god. Hello? Uh we Nintendo we Sometimes killing enemies in midair is a better idea. If it makes you feel any better, I died a ton of times in this game as well. Even when you were replaying it recently. I mean, the game certainly isn't easy to this point. Like, the first part of the game was super easy. I wasn't trying to talk shit on how easy it was, but it was super easy. Like, I barely died. Most of my deaths were just stupid things that I was being stubborn about, and I kept trying over and over again and being stupid with my jumps. And even up to this point, it's still not that hard. It's just... Insta-death from falling is what most of my kills are from. Sure, I've died from spikes. I'll take full responsibility for those deaths. But, like, you know, the insta-death falling, it's like, okay, well, those count as deaths, so, oh, well... Uh, I guess just Kia like that. That works. Come at me, ghost bitch. Alright. Checkpoint. Uh, I do have enough for the upgrade thing, so you know what? I'm gonna get it. This one. I'm just gonna buy it. That way he'll cost less when I do die again, inevitably. And now we're just saving up for a thousand. And I have a hard time believing this is going to be all the upgrades in the whole game. At least from a like, spending perspective. I know this game isn't super long. Like, I'm aware of that. But, like, still. It doesn't feel like that's all the upgrades the whole game is going to have, right? <laughs> There's going to be something else to use my money on. Because you could totally just die over and over going to keep grinding money. There's got to be something else to dump my yellow shards into when I'm out of stuff to upgrade. Ah, shit. I didn't jump far enough. I'm stupid. I should have used the hook shot immediately. It's alright. At least there was a checkpoint literally right there, so I'm not even tripping. El Dragon. Fuck him up. There we go. Double hook shot move was smart. Also, ah! I got a little bit ahead because of the hook shot thing, and then I fell behind there for a sec. Not wise. Oh, God. Just go, just go, just go. Hell yeah. Let's go. Woo! We made it. Let's go. Let's fucking go. What happened to your hat, friendo? Nothing new to chat about? You disappoint me. Also, hold on one tech. Sit in here for a minute. This music goes hard. Anyway, let's go. It's crazy how good the shop music can be when you're just chilling. That was the point of that. Just get those. Uh, okay. Thought maybe there would be more to that, but apparently not. Okay, cool. Let's get out of here then. See you. Huh. See ya. Oh, shit. The speed, though. Uh, oh, shit. Okay. 
There is a safe spot like right in the center there. Whew. Okay. Danger lurks. Uh, do I go left or do I go right? I I don't know. No, I don't know. No, 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 no. Oh, this is the way. The way for the secrets, that is. Oh my god, okay, okay. And we in there. Pretty proud of doing that first try, I'm not gonna lie, that was not bad. I guarantee I've missed a ton of these power seal things. I mean, I still only had, that was like my, I don't even know how many I've gotten, but I, the, the chest last time I checked said I needed 38 more. So now I need 37 more. And I guarantee I've passed plenty of moments where I could have gotten them. But I still feel like part of what the reason why is because I don't have the abilities I need. This isn't the end yet, is it? No. I just checked to see if he has anything new to say at this point, because I definitely don't have a thousand fucking shards yet. I'm thinking we're running from the dragon for the third time. Let's go. You've seen me walk past at least one breakable wall? Oh, okay. Well, besides that... I find it hard to believe that some of these spots where it's obvious that there's going to be something behind or like a different kind of passage that I'm not able to open yet. At least that's what it seems like to me. I also wonder if I should have tried to catch up to that guy and kill him. Would that have helped? Would he have given me a special item? Was there anything special about catching up to that fucker that was running? I don't know, but we made it. First try. All right, now this is the end of the level right here. So let's speak to him one more time. Hey, I'm not sure what's up next, but the prophet wanted me to repeat a line for you at this point in the adventure. All right, let's hear it. Okay, I've always wanted to try the voice. Check it out. <clears throat> and on this day, the messenger shall unwittingly make his lifesaver indebted to him. And that means... I'm not sure, but if all else fails, attack the fireballs. Wow. Okay. Thank you. Attack the bowls of fire. If you press select, you can see how many you have. Oh, wow. We haven't even been in this menu yet. Well, here's a menu that I didn't um, open before. <laughs> in case you were wondering. Eight power seals. Wow. We're only missing one more item. I mean, I know this game isn't huge, like I said. I think more of it comes from the gameplay than it does the collectibles. Although, there's a lot of power seals, so that's the real playable value, going back to get the collectibles. What we got? It's the dragon! Why am I not surprised? Do I hit him in the face? Oh. Okay. Oh, God. Okay, I do hit him in the face. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay. Don't get hit in the face. Just hit him in the face. Aye. Hit the fireballs. So that's your moment right there. When he when he does the fireball move, that's when you're gonna get your most hits in because you can knock him in the face and get a stun. So the rest of this is just dodging and not getting hit as much as possible. Ah. Definitely going to get a game over on this boss once, unless I get lucky. All right. We got him flashing, so that's good. Maybe now we'll kill him on the next round of moves, I'm hoping. Come right for us. Oh, God. That's fine. That works. Oh, I'm dead. Fuck. I missed his face barely. God damn it. 36 deaths, huh? Well, I've doubled my deaths from the last time we found out how many deaths I had. It's all right. We know the boss better now. This should go better. Just be more careful in the first half. Like, the first parts.
Oh, shit. And don't let him knock you through the fucking floor, idiot. Oh, my God. That was dumb. That was a dumb death. No denying that was a dumb death. At least I didn't get far into the fight before that happened. I've been more mad if I let that happen right away. Or later in the fight, rather. Not right away. You can get some extra hits in there, which I should have been trying to do more of earlier. Shit. Right, that went pretty well. Ooh, I thought I already had him flashing for a sec there. Shit. Hold down the A button, idiot. Damn it. I jumped a little too into him there. All right. Take a couple hits. Oh, shit. Ah! Ah, I wasn't expecting that! Oh, he pulled out a new one that I wasn't ready for. What a fuck. What a fuck. I was not ready for that. Okay, so he can knock out a whole side, and then you gotta jump to the other side. Okay, noted. Gotta love when your whole effort is wiped out by one move. It's the best, isn't it? It's the best. It's the fucking best. Oh, shit. No, I could have hit him and I missed it. Damn it. Shit. I deserve that. I deserved it. I fucking deserved all of that. I fucked up. God, it's garbage with a boss fight where you can insta die. It's reminding me too much of like Sonic the Hedgehog 1, the boss on the like the third level, the Spring Yard Zone level with, with you know, it's always Robotnik, but third boss where the floor eventually you know falls out from on you and it just all becomes oh you just die in one hit because you're falling to your death oh shit he took out hella ground that's not good well this is not good because I can't really get to him. Well, you know, I say that. I'm stupid. Anyway, you're going to stick around until the boss is over, then you're going to go X-Gamer? All right, well, appreciate you sticking around for the boss fight, at least. If I ever win, I'll win eventually. It's just all these insta-deaths that are getting me mostly, although I'm getting hit a lot this time around. Damn it. Oh god. I got a hit in somehow. Damn it. I'm gonna die. Gonna die the natural way. Maybe. Possibly. Probably. Whoa. Ooh, we got him. Wow. He didn't even do the ground wipeout move. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. Got him. Was that a dragon? That was the achievement I just got, by the way. Was that a dragon? Oh, he turned blue. Now he's a good dragon, and he loves me. Oh, he's adorable. I love him. I've been watching you for a long time, messenger. Who are you anyway? Huh. So this guy's did fool you. It's a shame you freed my slave pet, but no matter. I am now certain I can defeat you. So this guy, we we this is the same guy we've been running into the whole game, but he keeps running away, right? We haven't been able to actually defeat him, defeat him. Oh, shit. It's the guy from the beginning. You! 
surprised. Time to pay for what you did to my people. Bold words coming from such an unprepared adventurer. The underworld awaits you, messenger. At last, the scroll will be ours. Watch your step now. To hell with you. From heaven to hell, y'all.